So we are going to see how we can make some really cool animations with the camera and a model with Blender and Marmoset toolback. So first thing, this uh, model is not mine, it's made by Showstiver. You can get it for free on Polyheaven, which is a website where you can get uh, free resources for 3D modeling, HDRs, textures and models. I'm not a sponsor, but it's just a nice website to get uh, resources. And also a big part of this tutorial is inspired by this other tutorial, which is quick smooth camera movements in Blender by Polyp Shore. I will link you a link to these uh, three resources on the description. So let's get to it. I have here the model on Blender. So I'm going to add a camera. And first thing, we are going to set our view to the camera. And we are going to set or lock the camera to view. So this is pretty basic. You will find it on every uh, introduction tutorial to Blender, I guess. Uh, in my case, I'm going to render on a one by one uh, ratio. So I'm going to make it that which is a square basically. Okay, let me recenter this a bit. There we go. To avoid some issues with clipping, I am just going to decrease this and increase this a little. Okay, and that's about it. And now here I have the timeline, I'm going to add a lot of frames just to have a bit of uh, padding. And we are going to start recording the movement of the camera. Again, most of these come from this tutorial, so feel free to check it if I go too fast on this tutorial. Okay, so first thing we are going to set uh, auto key, which is going to set a key frame every time we set uh, a different position, rotation, or everything, or every setting of the camera. And we are going to make use of the fly navigation uh, mode. Sorry, not the fly navigation, but the walk animation uh, navigation mode, which allows you to move freely with the WSD keys. And you can go up and down with Q and W. And you can also uh, modify the velocity with the uh, mouse wheel. Cool. So that's basically the shortcuts that you will need. And you also have the shortcuts here at the bottom. Cool. So let's get to it. Before starting to do that, we are just going to um, start playing the animation. And we are going to quickly go to the Vulcan navigation and we are going to start showing a little bit of our models. So this is the animation that we are going to record and we want to record. All right, you can record just different parts of the models, different navigations, point of view, whatever you want. You can always cut this later once you have the final render on a software of video editing, which is pretty easy to do. So yeah, I'm just moving around. Oops, I fuck up, but that's okay. Everything will be okay. Okay, we can speed up a bit if we want. You can also press shift if you want to go quicker. And maybe you want to end up uh, showing the whole model. Okay, once you are done, we can press escape and stop the recording and stop the auto king. So now we can switch to another animation thingy. I don't need this. Let's see our camera again. And I'm also going to 
well, no, I'm not going to lock it. We're going to select it and we are going to set a view for the curves of the camera. We are also going to rename the action so we can detect it later on Marmoset. Uh, fly um, navigation is going to work. And control space to you know maximize your current viewport. We are going to normalize this so it's easier to work with. The first thing that you're going to do is go to key. Well, you're going to select everything, key, and sample keyframes. And this is basically going to create a keyframe on every frame, even if you didn't move the camera. We are also going to uh, limit already the amount of frames. I'm going to go with, I guess, 100, 1660, there you go. Okay, and now what we have is a very shitty movement that feels, you know, uh, very not smooth. So what we are going to do is select every frame here on the curve and we are going to click a smooth keys. And that is going to smooth it a little bit. We are going to press the shortcut, which is Alt O, as you can see, Alt O. And if you keep pressing it, it will get smoother and smoother every time. Okay. So now if we go back, you will see that we have a smoother, cleaner movement. Next thing that you can do once you are happy with the movement of your camera is to come here to key and we are going to decimate the keys in this case with a ratio. So this is basically going to reduce the amount of keyframes while keeping the uh, curvature or the movement. You can see here this slider moving uh, 92%, the bigger the percentage, the more decimation we have, the less amount of keyframes we will have. Okay, in this case, let's go not for 100%, but um, maybe, um, and it's going slow because it's a lot of keyframes. Uh, let's settle by 80. 90 is fine. Nope. Let's go again. Decimate by ratio. Let's keep it at that. Okay. So now we have a lot less keyframes, so it's going to be a little bit lighter uh, to work with. Right? Movement should, should still be pretty much the same. Um, and okay. One thing I like to do is to come here and add here on modifiers a noise modifier, which is going to add a little bit of noise to whatever uh, we select. In this case, we are adding it to the X rotation, but we are going to add it to other parts in a bit. If you play this, you will have uh, a mess. First thing you can do is to increase the scale. This is going to basically increase uh, or decrease the frequency of the noise uh, uh, wave. Okay. And we are also going to decrease the strength so it's not very strong. And if decreasing the strength is not enough, you can decrease the influence too. So let's go with something very, very subtle like this. And you can now click this button to copy these modifiers. And we are going to paste them on the other axis and locations. Right, let's turn them on 
and it's all going well but we are going to fix that okay so our problem first is here so let's decrease this by a lot even more there we go so when we are happy with our animation inside blender we can export uh, our camera first you're going to select the camera file export fbx we are going to just select the camera and all the other defaults should be okay so we are going to navigate here and we are just going to uh, save it I'm going to save a new one export fpx and in marmoset we are going to import that camera animation 2 here we go and you can see here our animation we are going to switch camera and if you play you will see that we have indeed our animation playing now the problem well first the first problem is that all the render settings that uh, we choose here on our main camera are not reflected on the other camera okay so that's certainly a problem for that you should right click the camera you want to copy the settings from copy setting object settings paste object settings and it's done okay and the other fun thing we are going to do is well first you have to set the amount of frames to the frames uh, you have here which is uh, this number so there you have the full animation and now um, we are going to switch to animate and we are going to do some fun stuff with the focus you can set this button on which is pretty much the same as the auto king on blender okay so just put that on and we are going to play with the depth of fill, especially the focus distance and the aperture. So you can control click those two and you will have uh, a view of the uh, two curves. So now you can simply enable here the thing. We are going to switch camera. There you go. And you can you don't want a sticky focus for this because it's going to mess the whole animation up and what we are going to do now is well delete all the keyframes because we don't want them we can now just simply start playing uh, middle click of course to set the distance and you can play with the uh, amount of um, focus you can then move for example 10 seconds in and you can click again to focus on a different part maybe this and also decrease the focus and you will see that now we are interpolating between this so we can also go here on the middle now and focus here play, play another time with the settings maybe here on the middle we want it there here we of course want something more like that and this way we are playing with the focus uh, dynamically through the animation so we can maybe now focus maybe on this and reduce the amount of uh, focus and just keep scrolling to this 
we can focus on the keys. And that is basically it. Of course, take your time with this, make it pretty, and but that's the gist of it. And now we can simply, well, you can play if you want. It's going to look a little bit bad on full quality. Uh, don't expect the ray trace depth of field to show up on the viewport. But we can go to render and we can set our settings for the video render i'm going to go with this and let's click render video and sorry we have to add our camera of course and uh, we can rename it actually uh, animation camera and we select it here on the render camera and render video and here we have our final video so i hope you like this video of course i did it a little fast just take your time with your final renders of course and uh, make sure to polish them if they will be on your portfolio again you will have the resources that i mentioned on the description the model the website with free resources and the other channel that also has some great tutorials so i suggest you check him out and if you like this video and want to see more content like this please leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks